Here is another problem that a viewer recently had, and I hope that this video will help them out and you also if you're having the same problem. And that would be the fact that they miscalculated the overall total rise or the distance between the lower floor and the upper floor. And this isn't going to be the only solution to this problem. There are a variety of other things you could run into, but in this individual's case, they got a couple of numbers turned around in their head and then used the wrong number to figure the overall height of each individual riser. And they were only off by an inch and a half. So in this video, I'm going to provide you with an example of what the stairs will look like if they are built correctly, like this one here, at the bottom where everything is nice and tight and level. And of course, if your floors are out of level, you could also have other problems that can affect these steps also. In our next example, I went ahead and raised the floor one inch to give you an idea of what it would look like if you were only off by one inch. And of course, that will provide us with a gap at the top and not the bottom because we're higher. So if we're working with something a little taller, we're going to have a gap at the top. And this is going to be your first clue. If you come to a stairway and you see a gap between the stringer and any of the wall framing components or the floor. So a gap at the top is going to signify most of the time that there was some type of a miscalculation in the stair stringer layout. However, you could also be dealing with the problem that this line right here wasn't cut straight or that this line right here isn't vertically plumb. So let's not get the cart before the horse when we're looking at something like this. And the gap at the bottom will be about a sixteenth of an inch and a sixteenth of an inch really isn't going to be that big of a deal on a set of stairs like this. And even if we raise it another inch, a total of two inches, an eighth of an inch really isn't going to be that big of a deal. Or should I say it might not be that big of a deal to me, but it might be a bigger deal to someone else, especially a building inspector. However, that will be up to you and them to figure out. I'm just the one providing the information here. So again, the gap's almost going to be the same at the top as it is at the bottom. And if we place a straight edge or a level on top of the upper floor, we can now get a pretty good idea how it's affecting the step. And for those of you wondering just how far off it is, it's almost an eighth of an inch or about three sixty-fourths of an inch right here. Now in our next example I went ahead and dropped it down four inches or we are now two inches lower than the original height calculated for the stair stringers to provide you with an example of how the stairs will be sloping in the opposite direction. And we are no longer going to have a gap in the front. It is going to be at the back and it's not going to be at the top anymore. It's going to be at the bottom. So again I've dropped this two two inches lower than the original height needed to make the stair stringers work out to where the steps would be level. And here we no longer have the gap at the back, we have it at the front of the stringer or the front of the stairway, creating steps that are going to be out of level in the opposite direction. Next up, and in our last example of the video, I went ahead and created a shorter stair stringer and then dropped this section two inches lower than it needed to be to provide you with an example of how this is going to create even a bigger problem because we are now going to be almost a quarter of an inch out of level. And there's a good chance this type of stairway will not pass any inspection by your local building inspector. And in my opinion, will be an unsafe stairway. But I wanted to provide you with an example of how a miscalculation like this one on a shorter stairway is going to create bigger problems than it will on a longer stairway. And as always, that brings us to the end of one of our videos. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Any questions? questions or comments, leave them in the comment area. And again, try not to make assumptions that if you see a gap at the bottom of a stairway like this, that the steps are going to be out of level. Grab a level and check because I've had to make adjustments in the past to the bottom and the top of the stairway to make something work because either the floor was out of level or the wall or the ledger wasn't straight.